So people have been asking me to do a studio tour. People want to know about all the hardware, especially people that haven't been following my channel for very long. I have discussed probably every piece of equipment that I'm about to show you at some point on the channel, but I've never really shown all of it in one video. And especially if you've subscribed to the channel just in the last six months or a year, then yeah, you probably didn't watch some of the older videos about some of the equipment I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to do a quick studio tour. I'm just going to show you uh, piece by piece exactly which hardware I'm running as far as cameras, mic, audio equipment, computer equipment, and all of that. I'm also going to link to all of the products in the show description. There'll be Amazon affiliate links, so if you guys want to buy any of these particular products because of me using it, feel free to do so. If you use my affiliate link, of course, I'll get a little cut of that, and of course, I appreciate you guys if you do that. So I think the first thing we should start with is my computer. Now my computer I bought from Ava Direct. There is a custom PC builder. Man, that's dusty. It actually doesn't look that dusty in real life, but uh, recording it with this phone, man, it is covered in dust. I should have cleaned that off before I took that uh, this video, but hey, it is what it is. It is a rather large tower, very heavy. Uh, the case is quite heavy it must weigh like 50 pounds that's why it's got the handles on it and it's good like steel handles it's not plasticky at all i mean it's just a beast of a tower this desk that it's sitting on it's actually quite large it's a very large l-shaped desk it takes up about half of this small room that i record in i record in a room that's maybe eight to ten feet you know it by eight to ten feet it's like a small square room what you guys typically see is me and the desk and the monitors and the audio equipment that's about half the room the other half of the room it's got uh, some shelves and some lighting uh, i'll show you the lighting here in just a second but in the computer it is a 12 core 24 thread thread ripper i think it's the uh, uh the thread ripper the 1200 x i believe is the model number i have 64 gigs of ram in the machine it has a radeon 7 gpu and uh, you guys see the IC dock on the front of it. I made sure I bought a case that did have an optical drive bay so I could put a six bay IC dock. You guys see four lights currently lit up on it because I have four extra drives in that six bay IC dock. Plus, I have a one terabyte NVMe drive inside the computer. So I have five drives in the computer right now. And that allows me to keep certain partitions on their own separate drives. It makes reinstalling a little easier. I did a video about that a while ago. I actually keep my music directory on one of these drives in this IC dock on its own drive, on its own partition. That way when I reinstall, I don't have to worry about backing up my 120 gigabyte music directory. Now I mentioned I have three monitors. So I have a three monitor set up here. And these three monitors are three, I think, 23-inch monitors, maybe 23 and a half, like close to a 24-inch monitor. I've had these monitors for years, probably five or six years. I really probably should upgrade to better monitors at this point. These are made by AOC. Um, nothing spectacular about the monitors, but they work. Um, yeah, really don't have anything to say about them. They were cheap at the time I bought them. I don't think I paid more than about... 120 bucks per monitor when I bought them six years ago. So uh, they weren't anything special even back then. This microphone is something special though. That is the Electro Voice uh, 27ND. So it's uh, typically going to retail around five to six hundred dollars. Plus you got to get the mount, which is going to be separate. And the mount, I think, is nearly a hundred dollars. Uh, at least fifty dollars is not cheap. You got to have the contraption. Then you got to have a boom arm to, of course, put the mount on. I'm using the Rode PSA-1 for the boom arm. It's about $100, but that's the boom arm to get. That's the one everyone gets. Uh, my camera I have sitting on the desk just to show you guys the camera right now. This is a Panasonic Lumix G7. And, uh, yeah, it's a really nice camera. I think I paid... $500 for the camera, and then I paid another $200 for the lens on the camera. That lens, it's a really nice lens. I think it's a 25-millimeter uh, lens. I'll try to link to the exact lens that I bought. 
but that's the lens that gives me that nice blurred background effect, that bokeh background effect that you sometimes see when I'm sitting at the desk if I'm in focus and the microphone is in focus, but the background, such as that laptop or my audio server, will have a blurring kind of effect. You'll have that bokeh effect, and I get that because of that really nice lens on this camera. Now, my keyboard, you guys know, is the Ergodox Easy. Uh, it's a split keyboard. I did a video about the Ergodox a while back. Also, there's the box. <laughs> the Ergodox Easy came in. I just have it sitting on the desk there. The laptops you guys see running on um, in the background of all my videos. Typically, it's just displaying C-Matrix while I'm recording. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad. This is an E535 with an AMD A8 processor, and that processor is fine to run Linux on. Uh, this I bought used off of eBay, I think for a hundred bucks. I don't even think I paid a hundred bucks for it. It didn't have a hard drive in it, but uh, it, it was a good deal, and I've been happy with this laptop. Underneath it is a Toshiba satellite that I've had forever, a Toshiba satellite C55B, I think, or C55D, I can't remember on that. Another cheap laptop, also an AMD A8 processor, has like 6 gigs of RAM in it. Again, that's typically either the ThinkPad or the Toshiba Satellite you guys see running C-Matrix in the background of all my videos. And in the background here, you guys see headphones. Now, one of the headphones here, this is just a cheap pair. It's like a $50 pair of Audio-Technica, I forget the model number, I think it's... Uh, M40 or something like that. Again, I'll try to link to the exact model number in the show description. They're not bad. They're really nice headphones for the price, but the ones right next to them are a serious upgrade. These are the Audio-Technica, I believe they are the uh, ATH-1000X series. And these are running you know, about $250 to $300, I think. They're open back, they're really comfortable, and the sound on them is just crazy is really amazing sound quality on those particular headphones of course i've got them just sitting on the server rack there by the way this server rack i did a video about me building this particular server rack i don't remember the brand but the server rack is five foot tall and it is i think 24 inches deep I think those were the dimensions, which 24 inches deep is pretty deep for a server rack, but it does give me plenty of room where if I wanted to, I could mount stuff to the back of the rack because the stuff mounted on the rack, most of this stuff is not very deep, just a few inches deep anyway. So um, I've got plenty of room to work with on both sides of the rack if I wanted to. Now let's talk about the equipment on the server rack. So let's talk about the light here at the top. That is the Pin Elcom. LED light. It's just this strip here that's glowing blue light down the front of the rack. I could change that light to green or red, so we can change it to whatever whatever color we want to. It's really just a nice effect. It really serves no purpose other than it's just nice to have that light, that blue light glowing on the face of the uh, Mackie Pro FX12 mixer. So that's the mixer. The Mackie mixer, I, I can't remember what I spent on it. 200 maybe $300. I, I'm not really sure on the price. It's not an extremely cheap mixer, though. It was kind of expensive. Also, going further on the equipment here, there is the Furman power conditioner. That's a power strip. In the back, there are eight plugs, and in the front, there is one plug. And then the up underneath the Furman power mixer, we have the Sonic Exciter, and this is made by uh, Sennheiser, I believe believe, uh, no, it's Behringer, excuse me, Behringer, the Sonic Exciter, and what this does is, you can see the knobs here, you got tune, mix, tune, harmonics, uh, min, max, uh, what this does is it boosts certain frequencies, especially the mid-range, because typically when you start compressing sound, uh, especially instrumental things, you, the sound just kind of sounds dead, right? Especially in the mids. And this kind of livens things up, right? That's the name, the Sonic Exciter. It kind of excites certain ranges. Uh, bass ranges, if you want, but especially the mid ranges is typically what people use these things with. And uh, probably great for instrumental recording, 
but I have found that it actually is not bad with my voice. So, so I typically use the Sonic Exciter when I'm just recording me at my desk and you guys hear my voice. It's, it's always on. Then we have the uh, Netty, uh, that is the amplifier, the preamp, uh, eight channel preamp. Right now I only have one microphone plugged into it. Below that we have the DBX231S, that is a dual channel EQ. And below that we have the DBX166XS, and that is an expander gate limiter compressor, um, a two channel as well. So I'm pretty much covered as far as two channels because the Sonic Exciter too is also dual channel. So I could comfortably have two different microphones in this studio, if you will, and I, you know, I can plug it into all of the equipment. So uh, everything here has at least two channels. And actually, let's go back down a little bit at the bottom uh, under all the equipment. I do have these drawers here. Let me open this drawer. I have two of those. Those are 2U deep drawers. So that is the Scarlet 2i2. That is a USB audio interface. So this is what I used initially when I first upgraded my sound. You know, went from using a standard USB microphone, the Blue Yeti, and I wanted to get into XLR microphones. But to do an XLR microphone, you know, you need a audio interface or a mixer. And the 2i2 by Focusrite is really a pretty affordable interface and it's it sounds good you know it adds some preamp and some compression you know it adds a little effects to the microphone but i found that that 2i2 was really a nice sound combined with a halfway decent microphone and i did have a pretty good microphone at the time i was using the blue baby bottle sl fantastic microphone now that microphone is also not cheap it runs you around four hundred dollars now this microphone is a condenser microphone where the electro voice 27 nd is a dynamic microphone now if you're in a noisy environment a dynamic microphone is better because it eliminates more noise uh, i think the blue baby bottle i think i like the sound on that better especially with instrumental recordings, but even voice. I really liked my sound on the baby bottle, but just to eliminate a lot of background and ambient noise, the uh, 27ND is probably more appropriate, at least for the setup I have now. You guys see my, by the way, I use Arch Mug. I do have some saltine crackers, a package in the, <laughs> the mug. I guess that's where I store my half-eaten package of crackers. When it comes to saltine crackers, I do prefer the Zesta brand of crackers. Sometimes I'd buy the premium brand of saltine crackers, but those just don't taste as good to me, so I always buy Zesta. The lighting I use are these LED lights from Favatech. I bought two of them. They're really fantastic. They have these uh, barn doors that allow you to uh, adjust how much light bleeds through. Also, you can adjust the intensity of the lighting and the color of the lighting. So that's just a quick cursory tour of the studio. It's not much of a studio, just a small room, but uh, obviously I've got a little bit of equipment in it. I know a lot of you guys were interested in this video I, I keep getting requests about it so hopefully that answers all your questions all right guys peace